so, so. so coming off of your rookie season and going into the off season, uh, sort of what did you like from your game last season and what did you prioritize improving coming into the summer? Um, last year I just felt like I made a couple shots. Um just really was a learning experience for me. Um going into the summer, you know, I was working on just being efficient, um, watching a lot of film, um, and really just working on, you know, my point guard skills, playmaking skills, and um, knowing when to be aggressive, um, knowing when to get the team right, get the team set up, and just controlling the team. Marcus, last year in the league, towards the end of the season, we talked a lot about the difference between two-handed skip passes, one-handed skip passes, and said you're more comfortable throwing those two-handed skip passes. This year, are we going to see more of those one-handed skip passes with the Doncic style? Um, it's, you know, something I've been working on, you know, when the time is right. Um, it's really just like all the read, and, you know, that's what I've been doing a lot this summer, you know, um, going through my reads, progressions, um, knowing when to make the play, knowing, you know, what pass to throw. So it can be both. What has been the vibe like so far? You said, you know, the past couple of days being around guys and, you know, seeing some of your new teammates and, and the coaching staff and what the goals been like for the season. Uh, the vibe's been real good. Um, I say ever since we – Took the you know California trip, um, you know all the vets was there. So just you know being around these vets, you know they came to the team um, with energy, um, teaching us a lot of stuff. You know before training camp even started, and um, I got a you know real good feeling about this year. You know just because the energy and the vibes, um, the players, the coaches, um, really the whole organization. So it's been a great vibe um, all summer. Marcus, looking at the roster this year, the point guard depth chart is not as stacked and crowded as it was last year. How do you assess that, you know, growing into your second year as a player? I'm just really going in, um, <clears throat> doing whatever I can do to help the team win. Um, whenever I am, you know, putting in, put into the game, um, just try to run the team, you know, if I'm at the point guard position, um, just make an impact playing the point guard position. If I'm at the two, you know, trying to do my best, you know, to put the ball in the basket um, and really just be 50-50 um, with passing and scoring and just knowing when to be aggressive and knowing when to um, run my team. That mindset of doing whatever it takes, how much, of, how much of that do you credit um, your college coach Alex Johnson for something that he's always preaching about, you know, always doing, you know, even like the small things in order to right. make that decision? Um, I give him a lot of credit, um, even, you know, just getting to this level. Um, it's a lot of stuff he done taught me, um, especially like just coming into practice every day. You know, he always tell me it's only two things you can control, your attitude and your effort. So um, I put that in the back of my head every day. And we all human, so, you know, we're going to miss shots, have bad days. But as long as I can control my attitude and effort, you know, I feel like I have a great day at the end of the day. So I think the first two thirds of the season last year, you were one of the best shooters on the team. The last third, the shooting fell off a little bit. Was that a, a Ricky Wall type moment, or was there anything else going on there? Sort of, what do you make of that looking back? Um, I kind of believe, you know, I don't want to say a Ricky Wall. I feel like that's an excuse, but uh, it, it it is different, you know, coming from college, playing thirty some games to coming to the NBA playing eighty two games, and um, you know, your legs will, you know, play a factor, you know, as the season go on, but. That's why I feel like the NBA really just about experience. So, you know, I'm glad I actually was able to get on the court last year, you know, as a rookie, play a lot of games <clears throat> and um, see how I feel, you know, to play back to backs and play all them games during the week. Um, so I went into this summer, you know, really training my body, pushing my body um, almost to the limit. So when them late games do come, you know, I still be able to get my shot how I would when I'm not fatigued. What's been your impression of the new coaching staff? What was the vibes around the new front office so far? Um, I've been, it's been great vibes. Um, it came in, like I said, with great energy. Um, I feel like everybody got a, you know, good heart. Everybody really on the same, same track this year. Um, I kind of feel like we all got the same goal in mind. And um, <clears throat> it's going to be, you know, real intense. And um, one thing, you know, I do like about this this group, you know, I feel like we're gonna come out there and compete like every day, you know. Um, in the little open gyms we've been having, you know, it's been real competitive, a lot of noise talking, you know, I feel like we just making each other better every day. So it's been great vibes from the players, coaches and the whole organization really. Follow up on that, because that's now your perspective, uh being able to compare it as well as last season. Right. Um I, I, it was my first year last year, so that's it's kinda hard to, you know, really know 
you know what an NBA team's supposed to be like. And um, we had good vets last year, but I just I feel you know like a different vibe from these vets. Um, you know they kind of more into it. You know, um, giving us you know just talking to us like on the bus, and it's not even really about everything on the court. It'd be off the court. You know they helping us with life. Uh, so you know I give a big shout out to our vets that you know we got on this team now.